Did you know as a member of WBGU-TV, your kids become members of our Kids Club, too? Benefits include special events like Kids Extravaganza, The Fall Spooktacular, and much more. Many people stop by our farm and the first thing they say is, can we see your llamas? Alpacas are not llamas. They are a cousin. They are members of the camelid family. Llamas are strictly a hobby animal, an exotic. Stargazer Farm is a breeding alpaca farm. We breed and sell the animals themselves. We do have yarn made from our fiber, only our best quality baby grade fiber, and I do sell that at farmers markets and fiber fairs to offset the cost of our feed and our hay. We started Stargazer Farm actually when we were still living in Fremont in, in about 98. We purchased two animals and boarded them for several years, and uh, the boarding costs are about uh, three dollars a day and uh, after we got up to five animals we decided it was really we'd be better off trying to get a piece of property and, and get out on our own so we moved here from Fremont to Helena in 2000 the winter of 2001 and uh, we've been out here ever since and we just really enjoy the the rural lifestyle and, and being with these animals. Alpacas are very easy to take care of if they weren't, my husband and I would not be in the business. Very low maintenance. They are not a hooved animal. They have a pad like a dog on their foot and two toenails. They're very, very easy on the ground. They don't tear up their pastures like a, a cow or a horse would. They are fed grass hay. We prefer, prefer orchard grass. Um, and there is an alpaca dry feed that we feed them. It's very inexpensive to take care of the animals. With 10 animals here on the farm, and when they are not on pasture and being fed hay only, these 10 animals might eat a bale a day collectively. A horse or a cow usually eats a bale a day per animal. Well, a day on the farm at uh, Stargazer Farm usually starts a little later in the morning. It's not like we have to get up and milk these guys at 6 o'clock in the morning. We roll out of bed about 9 o'clock or so, let the girls out to pasture in the summer. In the wintertime, we'll get them out a little hay. Uh, there's the daily cleaning, feeding, straightening things up. It usually amounts to about 45 minutes of work a day. The animals are really easy to take care of in comparison to cattle or hogs or whatnot. They're a very easy care animal. My duties uh, generally run to the physical side. I do the mowing, uh, the fence work, um, and Kathy does a lot of the uh, computer work, marketing, um, phone calls, handles more of the PR business. I handle most of the marketing for the animals, phone calls, the fiber end. My husband is the maintenance of the farm. He takes care of the hay field. He loves to garden. Together we do real well. What I can't think of or can't do, he thinks of and he can do. We might start winding down in the next five or six years and start doing a little more travel and uh, spending a little more time with our grandkids. But, but right now we, we enjoy the daily life on the farm and I, I suspect we'll always have two or three animals around. If you're the least little bit interested in learning about alpacas, please stop by and see us. We love to have farm visits. We love to spend time with our customers and our clients. It's just a great lifestyle for anybody that wants to get out of the rat race. Less stress. We're still excited to be in the alpaca business after 14 years. Mm -hmm.